Jennings Tun sees Lancashire Titan grasp. When Lancashire heads hit their pillows on the eve of the Roses match, few would have even dreamt they'd be in such a strong position after the first day of play. Yorkshire skittled, and the Red Rose five runs shy of 100 for the loss of just one wicket. And they soon reached three figures, Wells and Jennings off to a confident start, and they kept building. Both men in good form, and it wasn't long before they were targeting 150, and the parity that could come soon after. Jennings was playing in his characteristic patient fashion, and it had him in the 40s with half an hour to go before lunch. There'd be no agonising wait over sandwiches and cups of tea for the former England opener. He picked up his half century with his seventh four, 177 balls taken to get there, but his side were now just a shot or two away from 150. They'd reached that in the overs before lunch, the going sedate, but Lancashire had the luxury to bat how they wanted. The score at the break, 150 for one. Lancashire continued their march, the partnership worth 100 not long into the afternoon session, and the lead now into double figures. Jennings took them to 200, his single handed Lancashire their first batting bonus points of the afternoon, adding to the full allocation they'd taken with the ball. He was into the 90s, but Wells had his eye on 50, and got a bit of help from Best to get there, his full toss too high and nailed to the fences with ease. Yorkshire were frustrated, this partnership was now worth 50, and there was more punishment yet to come. The spotlight whipped back to Jennings, an 11th four dribbled down to the boundary and took him to his 100, scored off a mammoth 253 deliveries. After almost six hours at the crease, Jennings was finally dealt with, code the man to remove him, out for 114. And like London buses, after a long wait Yorkshire had two, Wells out for 60, unable to withdraw the bat in time. There was 250 on the board, but Livingston couldn't emulate his colleagues, out for six off the bowling of Patterson. The Hannon and Villas remained through to tee, the score at the break, 266 for four, and the lead now 107 runs. They continued their progress when play resumed, and skipper Villas was refusing to take his foot off the neck of Yorkshire, some powerful stroke play pushing the score towards 300. The pair traded sixes, Villas here climbing into Bess, and Bahannon smacked another maximum that brought up the 50 partnership and the team 300. Villas was eventually uprooted, Code getting the skipper who got the shot all wrong, his contribution 35. Despite his departure, Lancashire took a leaf out of their skipper's book, no quarter given. They were trying to make the game as safe as they could, the score moving on towards 350. While Bahannon had quietly made his way into the 40s, Wood had been soaking up deliveries at the other end, but the pressure eventually told, caught behind off Thompson. For the first time in the match, Yorkshire had their hand on the tiller, Lancashire getting a little bogged down as the day inched towards its end. A lamb single took them to 350, and they'd find their way to the close soon after. No further runs added to the score, Lancashire's stranglehold on the match tightening, with their lead almost 200 runs.